All right, big old pot in the this one here. This is it. This is decides whether this is a real tournament or not. It's time to go. Let's do it. It's a big old pot. Is the backup tournament a real tournament? Queens, ace queen, ace five. That's, I mean, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't, I just, I know that I see a lot of queens and fives, so I know that ain't us. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I think just gonna overcall here again, can definitely squeeze bluff, but. People are just more likely to put it in against you because they have the backup equity of your bounty if they cover you, so I think you have to squeeze bluff a lot less. And now we're gonna have ourselves an interesting spot here. Rick Legrado with a bet. We ain't gonna fold yet, yeah, but we ain't loving it already. We are always afraid of everything. But you know. We ain't folding yet. We ain't folding yet, folks. It's weird here because hitting a 10 on the turn actually improves this most likely bluff combo. I think I'm gonna call here and call on blanks. Um, the sizing is kind of suspicious to me. I think it's like a combo draw. So I'm gonna call here and call blanks. All right. Not great, not loving it to be honest, but like, you know. He's trying to say he has like ace jack. Like that. <laughs> Fuck my life. Alright, fair enough. It's tough, like, his value combos are really cut down there because it's like. Jack's 3 bets pre, ace is 3 bets pre, ace king, ace queen, probably 3 bet pre. Um, I have an ace in my hands, blocking ace jack. I don't have any spades in my hand. Like when he shoves the river, it's like pretty tilt, but I'm getting like five to one in a bounty, so got a call. But it's like the turn's a decision, really. But um, yeah, I guess he can just have ace jack pretty easily. All right, well, there's a lot of shit going on here. Wow. All right, I'm somehow ahead. That's right, boys. Win the big ones. Decent flop up here where we've uh, three bet three. Gonna go for a small bet here. Hopefully this guy's queens, that'd be cool. Gonna continue betting here. Um, just to get value from flush draws and stuff, and I would, there's two flush draws on the board, so I would be like, looking to Looking to bluff as well to try and fold out like 8s, 9s, 10s and stuff as well. I'm just going to shut river obviously I think. I'm trying to work out if there's any merit to check in here. I think when the diamond hits there's not really any merit. Checking. I would still bluff like Ace King of Hearts here and stuff. I don't think he's gonna have too many bluffs that wanna that we wanna check once a diamond hits. Like 
so we just don't want to get a chance to, f to check back like right, ace queen or whatever. Like ace of diamonds queen or something. Or like kings, he might even just not shove kings. People are just pretty like nay value betting rivers, so just put the money on ourselves and let him call. Come on, mate. You've got like kings or aces, and you're never gonna fold. Oh, baby, he was fed up of my shit. I'll tell you that much. Jesus. That's why I guess you just fucking keep piling money in. So, we need a ten here, and not a diamond. A ten. That that ain't it, bro. All right, so we're gonna be back in this bad boy. Re-enter. Oh, I would absolutely love to take some more of my goddamn money. Take it. All right, so now we got a fun spot here with the spew tards. Time to try and ISO this bad boy. Nice. This guy snap calls. All right, I think we should be in a fairly good spot here. He's gonna have a lot of like nonsense. This guy's just snapping me off, man. Gonna check, not gonna fold. This guy is very, very sticky and kind of crazy. I'm gonna check, call turn. Pretty great fucking river card. Snap checks. We'll take it. I think we were just ahead there anyway. Oh wow, he had 8-9, Jesus. Maybe should have just open ripped the river against someone with the old green tag, that's probably a mistake. Get there! Queen! King 10, Queen! Deuce! Fucking deuce! Up here, we've opened Genetarian's defending. We're gonna be c betting range here on King High versus his defend. Looking to try and, you know. Get the chips in for the bounty. Four is not a great card to see. Then we're going to check back, and then if he checks over, we're going to shove. I think he just thinks my barrel frequency on this card will be really low. So I'm just going to try and exploit what he thinks in this situation. Uh, I mean, it's not really a good card. It's actually a pretty bad card. Uh, it is a card I would bluff a lot. Because Jack 10 now doesn't need to bluff. Queen Jack now is a straight. So I would use a lot of my, like, Ace five of spades bluffs here, or like hands of that nature. So hopefully we can convince him that we're at it. Yeah, I mean it's like it's one of those tough for me to be super bluffing, but Queens and the big one. Gonna be all in. And up here we have King's face and a 4x, which is great news. Folding on the other table. 4x usually means they're not folding, which is good news. This guy's all in too. This guy's called. It's a bounty bonanza, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get the hold? They're not gonna do us the old two in a row, are they? Sure we're not.
Ace Queen versus Jax. All right, we need to pair the boards. There we go. Beautiful. Thanks very much, boys. Send it over. Give me that money. Give me that goddamn money. Oh, man. Look, it's time. Ace King in here, aces. Super great flop, but not a terrible one for us against big blinds. Gonna start with a bet. Oh, we're pairing a gut shot, you know. Ah, I mean, you hate to see that, but we had folding. 38%. Three, ace, king, ken, queen. Showers. Yeah, I mean, that's like a very stupid shove from him, but I mean. That's what it is. I'm going to defend here. Oh shit. Cut out is here. We'd have fours, we'd have sevens, we'd have ace four, ace seven. That's big sizing. I don't know is, though. I have ace 4 off, ace 7 off, 7 4 suited, 4 7s, and not many bluffs. Bingo, baby! Um, Don't really want to shove here, it's really tough for me to be bluffing now on a 5, so I'm just going to check and. Hopefully let him do his thing. If he checks back, we'll just shut River, obviously. Let's go, Johnny. In a great river, but I mean we are just gonna shove obviously. I mean, I think he just has an ace a lot, so it's like, uh, I don't know his name, so I, th I guess and he, like he's not gonna fold an ace. So. Seven nine, wow, he was fucking over me. Let's go. Maybe we have queens. Actually, just gonna flat um, with people behind. L position. He's uh, got quite tight numbers, so I think uh, having having some strong hands in our flat and range can't kill us. And hopefully, this guy can just rifle it in. King high, uh, not ideal, but it's all good. He just half pots. His seabed's 100% though, so like, I am gonna call one, I'm not very happy about it, but I am gonna call one. I don't think he can really just blast off if once I call with two guys behind. And I block king queen, which is kind of important. I don't think he just gets to like put me in the bin here. Because I'm flying queens, I'd probably fly ace king off against him as well. But I definitely have king queen and stuff. And he's just he's just he's just like a fish that smashes the pot the half pot on, so. On your chat race where you turn the knots, would you a bet show the turn if it'd be a blank complete blank, no. Like a spade or something, yeah. Or like a straight A card. Or like if I turn to six. He's gonna fold here. It's pretty uh, irritating hand. He, he's obviously just a rec player who's just... He's like, oh, half pot, half pot, half pot, you know, just so... Uh, I don't think they really just lose their mind. It's pretty big size from this guy. is kind of tilting, but... We are gonna have to call one. Unfortunately. Unless Simon gets involved. And we have, okay, cool. We have shoved down here over this open, so we're gonna fold the 7 6 diamonds up here to the check raise. And we shoved over one times open here. He's got the aces. We need an 8. We need an 8 ball on the river. 
That ain't it. Don't you? We should get called for the bounty. We're up against King Jack. Oh, that's how we roll. All right, got eight seven of diamonds here. Um, could be those calls here, so I don't get the shove anymore. I don't think even against Koopy is pretty loose here. Um, I think I'm just going to defend and play from there. All right, good luck, boys. Most beers you've had while playing poker. Um, I final tabled the Irish Open High Roar and got escorted to my bed by security during it. So it must have been a lot. Alright, so we actually turn a 7 here, so... This could be interesting. Could be best here. Very happy to call here against Koopy. I'm more worried about Triple E behind. When he checks this flop, but... Bingo, hopefully. I don't think he really has anything here, but... Gotta go for it anyway. There's only one bet size here. All right, all right. Take that little boosty. All right, get the K balls. Don't think I'm gonna get much action here, but I've got to give Koopy the chance to do something here. I don't think... I think Triple E is going to see through this, but I don't know if Koopy will. Alright, boys. Best of luck. Let's go. The classic cure. Expo or GTO? Um, both. <laughs> when you're playing like a like a live main event, like a 5k or something, exploit is pretty important. Especially like if you're playing a World Series tournaments, like playing a fucking live $1,500 tournament against like, you know, all these MAGA guys or whatever. You know, that's... Uh, Exploit is very important. When you're playing high stakes stuff, it's uh, very important to know GTO or to know as much of it as you can. All right, in the little backup term, we're probably going to be all in here. 114 hours, seven off the money. That's kind of tilling, but I ain't folding H Jack here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey! The backup tournament lives on, bros. And we get the queens in it. Well, looks like we're gonna have to call this off on the bubble again. Ace nine off. Let's go, baby. All right, this has turned into a real fucking tournament all of a sudden. Loving that. All right, big old pot in the this one here. This is it. This is decides whether this is a real tournament or not. It's time to go. Let's do it. It's a big old pot. Is the backup tournament a real tournament? Queens, ace, queen, ace, five. That's, I mean, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't, I, I just, I know that I see a lot of queens and fives, so I know that ain't us. <laughs> Fuck.
So what, what is that what happened here? We got one out of for the big side pot, basically. We got like one out of to get our money back. Alrighty, back up tournament. It's time to go. Maybe we'll get this guy's bounty, we cover this guy. Alright, we get ISO'd. This guy calls again as well. Is this the same guy? Ace King, oh wow. Alright, good start. Good start. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, I guess we're just back to being a real tournament again. Almost. Uh, here we're gonna flat. We're not really loving getting too super involved here, but Ace 10 series is just too good. Good flop. Let's start a little bet ski. We are all we are pretty much all in in the backup tournament here. Nice. That's looking very choppy to me. Oh no chop, excellent. Alright, good turn, good turn. Gonna size up a little bit here. And for another bounty down here also. Up against Ace 10 for another bounty down here. Oh, come on, bro. Woo! Alright. That's a real tournament again. And we're gonna shove this river, so hopefully we're not just fucking dead. I should have sized up turn a bit more, so this would be a pot shove. Well, we got top, so hopefully the guy's got like 10, 9 of clubs or something. Really find the fold? That is the question. Oh dear, mate. Chip the Buna. Let's fucking go. What was your biggest score relative to your bankroll? I won the five rebuy, early five rebuy in stars for 2k when I had negative 2k. That was cool. This is a pretty good spot because I got to just open like, a lot. Gonna have to call Triple E here if he shoves. Not super loving it, but it's gotta be done. Alright. But it's just luck, but it's excited because I think he realizes I'd be opening super wide here, so let's go. Okay. Good start. Boom. Nice. Finally got a bounty, boys! Finally got that bounty! Ship that fucking cheddar. Let's go. Uh, don't blame him for showing there at all, actually. Um, I think he's correctly identified it as a spot where I'd be super wide opening. Um, and as a result, it's 9 off, I think, is going to make it into a shove. Alright, coming for more bounties. Uh, I think we just overcall here. I don't think we want to use this hand as a bluff. That's that, that ain't it. <laughs> that wasn't quite what we were looking for. That 
it's not us. Yeah. Alright, we were in pretty fucking bad shape. We lost this shop anyway. Don't forget, we still have the reserve tournament down here as well. And we do have pocket tents in the reserve tournament. And we will be 3 back calling for a $300 bounty. here not really sure about that that flat but I'm gonna go with it yeah that's not good do it hello <laughs> all right going to defense here with the 10-8 sweeted Yeah, I guess 20 gonna check call. Could have a chat raise here. I think I would chat raise with an over to the to the jack, so I would like queen five of spades, I would chat raise here. I think I'm just gonna call. Nice. Nice. Gonna check here, I think. Just check call. Can definitely bet here. Um, can have a lot of jack hacks and stuff. I mean, I'm not really happy about the sizing, but I'm not gonna fold. Go open here, cover everyone. It's a little bit loose, but. When you cover everyone, you get to be a little bit looser. Alright. I'm gonna check here with Ace High. Um, would bet, like if I somehow had like king six suited here, I'd bet. Yeah, I think with ace high we get to check. And now I'm gonna do some some bluffs. I've got a call turn, obviously. Set the old four on the river, that'd be cool. I'm gonna fold to you. Having a six isn't good. Like it's not, it blocks six four and six nine, but it also blocks like king six and stuff that are all bluffs. Uh, I think I'm just gonna fold. I don't really believe the size is kind of weird, but okay. and down here we're gonna go for this bounty. Oh shit! All right, king or a queen for a big one. Let's do it. King queen river. That's just the most nonsense run I've ever seen in my life. All right, let's see if we can do it this time. See if we can get back in it. Nope. Showers back up. You were just a backup to me anyway. Get the fuck out of here. Kind of loving that from Kippy though. It's just, he's just like, fuck this. I had a slightly worse hand I would squeeze here. 
Uh, this is not bad squeezing. It's because I don't need a lot of this guy's call. I think I can squeeze here. Uh, I'm just gonna call. I think if I had a worse hand, I would squeeze. This is too good. I think if I had like King Nine Suit or something, I would squeeze. Kinda wanna float here. Don't really get to do much chat raising here. Um, I think this is a spot where I'm gonna float one. It's an interesting turn card. Kind of shitty having a 10 in my hand, but. I just size like this with like Queen 6 suit or whatever. Flat the nines here. People get a bit shorter now. See some action soon, I would imagine. Decent flop. See bets here. Get a call. Turn around nine would be cool. Do the same bad. If I want a protection back here. Would I want to bet sevens or someone here? Probably for protection, right? Um, so I guess I get to go like... Goes for the chat raise. Um, not gonna fold, obviously. Moving a night would be sweet. That is pretty cool. Uh, I think against this line, I just check over. I don't think I get to get here with too many bluffs. Maybe like Queen Ten of Hearts or something. I think if I fail, I'm just gonna check. I can definitely see the argument for buying. Alright. Yeah, the music is. DJ Cutman, C U T M E N. Um, it's his channel, it's like some uh, live thing he's got running. Gonna defend here, it's pretty dicey, but I think it's just gonna be strong enough to 
Plates are mid. Pull the top pair. Start with the checky collie. This guy just basically merged on turns, like he was he was betting like second pair the flush draw before, so you can definitely just have like a strong queen and stuff here. If, and that's before we even take an account they could be bluffing. So definitely not gonna fold here. He did he did Snapchat River back as well though. Alright, so okay, we chop this mate. This is probably towing. I don't think this is a bluff. He like snap gave back, like he needs to be bluffing, like Why is he just betting so big though? Does he just have like Ace of Hearts 8 that he was just betting? He just has a flush. Like I don't block 9 10, Jack 10 and stuff, the sizing's really weird as well. He's never bet River though, like with his marriage hands, like he never has a queen anymore. Really tough to fold top here. Yeah. Like he shouldn't just be blasting into me, but, like unless he has a flush, unless like with an eight, you know. I think this is just like I don't know. Like you can definitely have like jet ten off and stuff here. He's opening really wide. I think just because of that, I have to call. It's kind of tilting though. Oh, he had the flush and an eight. All right, gonna be all in against QP if everyone folds here. Playlist is uh, maybe we can. Uh, we're near the end of stream, I guess. Now it's uh, uh, this is kind of tilly now that he called. Uh, he was calling like pre. I don't know. I doubt he's folding Jack Ten suited and stuff. What did he open before that was pretty wide? He's actually been getting a little bit wider. I'm gonna I'm gonna shove here. It's not an amazing spot, but it's uh like Crevendi's gonna have a lot of calls here, but it ain't the worst. Fives, alright, let's win a flip. It's a good start. No <laughs> why? <laughs> you motherfucker. Alright boys. We tried our best. Couple of little late fuck ups there. I think a little bit of rust and also sleepiness. Check it in. Uh, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. I'm sure there'll be more streams in the near future. Possibly from someone who's actually good at poker, which will be a welcome bonus. And yeah, uh, for everyone who's asking about the chat, uh, the chat it was uh, DJ Cut. You know, bring it out here. Um, DJ Cutman was the name of the channel, and he's just running this kind of an endless music stream with shit, you know, game music, blah blah. So DJ Cutman was I just it was just on YouTube. Uh, it was pretty cool for Grind too. All right, boys, thanks for joining. What did we cash for in the end? Wow, that is not a lot of money. All right, <laughs> fucking bounty tournaments to rot. All right. Oh, Melisers, thanks for resubbing LG Yeager. Sorry, I need to run right now. <laughs>